You know what I noticed? What did you notice? You're always drinking alone by yourself. We drank together yesterday. Yeah, you wine. know, but like, wala, I find it so luoy. Wala na akong friends. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Sky Podcast. You know what I do? I, like, but I drink whiskey, so I taste different flavors. So I send my friends <laughs> your notes mga whiskey this bottles this whiskey like, tastes like no yung mga favorite ko di ba it's more fun to enjoy something with yeah. friends pero so pag medyo may one fourth pa oh you try my whiskey then and sila naman you send it to each other uh, you send it to each other yeah so yun na yung mga that's the new way <laughs> of um, sharing a drink now yeah in this new normal oh, wow, wow. <laughs> digitally <laughs> we used to have like zoom calls where we would drink with our friends right oh yeah but, but parang now it's getting more and more hard to do zoom calls no I guess because we all we all kind of have our own routines now we're so used to like living I don't know why, yeah, why when, do the, think? when the f- pandemic first started like gigil na gigil tayong makita sila yeah, because we're, we're so, used so used to seeing, to seeing, them, seeing them all the time. Now we're kind of used to not seeing them. Although yeah. I would still consider them very close to us. Yeah, it's kind of weird, no? How easily, like how fast we adapted and how... Because our routine before used to be like seeing our friends maybe five times a week. Oh, that was my visitors kami palagi. Yeah, our so. house was always so noisy. And then now, like, let's it's say... It's noisy. Let's, it's yeah, I know. But like, <laughs> let's say suddenly tomorrow... Everything just goes back to normal, and then we have guests all the time. Parang I would be like culture shocked again because I'm not used to it anymore. Yes, na pansin ko, especially you. Parang you tend to do social distancing to the extreme, or parang yeah, mas, because of my yeah. baby. I understand. I understand. Yeah. Parang will we ever get back, back to, to our groove and how things were? I Uh-oh. I think not. Like May- I think we can't. We can't expect to ever be the same people we were before kids. Oh, no, not just before kids, but before this pandemic. whole 2020 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sad, no? Like, okay, let's say everything is back to normal. Everybody's vaccinated. Um, are we going to be as confident to go out as much, hug mm. people as much? You know, like, I miss you, hug. Or even like, tagay, share a drink. You know what I mean? Oh, like, the ba, tagay, like, share a glass. Yeah. Um, or shots, you yeah, know, so you're or like, like sharing saliva. Yeah, it's a lot of hmm. things are gonna change. I'm sure. Ah, uh, pero um, napansin ko lang na you you were watching Netflix, de ba? On your that's your nighttime routine now. The Crown. Yes. Is my like, new show. Makar- from time to time, it's like oh, they're in a large crowd. Oh yeah, this is like. This used to be real life. <laughs> I know. I get that feeling too. Like if there's a party scene or like even if they're in the office lang. I'm mm. like, oh my goodness. Like, bakit hindi sila nag-meeting sa Zoom? <laughs> iba na, iba But na. I like Zoom meetings. I like Zoom meetings because it saves me a lot of time. Dati kasi kailan face-to-face. So. I know. But I feel like there's something that you're also giving up. Like you're, you get convenience out of Zoom meetings. But you're giving up also that... Ay, syempre, iba oh, pa rin yung social interaction pag face-to-face. I would say 50% of the meetings are doable via Zoom. But a lot of it is, I like the half of it is, parang kailangan nandun ka to solve problems, to be with, may energy kasi na different eh. Yeah, but not only that. Like, the rapport that you build with the people yes. you're meeting with, mm-hmm. you know, it's different if it's, you build a relationship with them talaga. Yeah. I would say, like for me right now, it's very hard to manage my business from remote control. Yeah, and like when you're on Zoom call, you can't really pick up all of these signals because means and choppy yung internet. Minsan, oh, you hate this part. So uh, yeah, and then like body language. Yes. Or the tone of their voice. Sometimes uh-huh. it's not clear. So there are a lot of things that you sacrifice as well. When you're negotiating with someone, iba yung makikita mo yung mga subtleties of yeah, what is happening. Exactly, exactly. Or when you're talking to an employee, parang makikita mo na, is he really listening or not? Is he happy? Is he comfortable with what uh, he said? Or is he just nodding his head but not really listening? Uh-uh. What's under the table, outside the screen? May bata ba sa, di ba, sa beside niya? He, he's not really listening to you. Mm-hmm. We don't really know. Tapos yung may konting lag, yeah. it really makes a difference. If you, even if it's a half second lag and then you reaction late. Yeah. And then you think like, 
uh, should I continue uh, uh, with this conversation? Like, is he interested or what? Yeah. That is also when you have guests. Yeah. In our so, meetings, like conference room, that day. Uh, so right now, there's like 10 or 12 of us in a meeting. Pag we meeting kami, napansin ko, people don't talk as much. Because it's on lahat ng mic, maingay. So you have to press the unmute button. Right, and then, right, ano, right. So may, may mga barriers na ganyan. Right. So I feel like some ideas don't get exchanged. Or parang... There's no banter. Yes. Even if they wanted to speak out, parang, ah, hold na lang. Ganyan yeah. Na, uh, and I think that's a requirement, like, because a lot of the kids are doing online classes now, right? Mm. So when the teacher's talking, your mic has to be off. Yes. Diba? So parang there's no... Or you have to raise your hand. Like everything's just so distant. I feel there's no connection anymore. Uh-huh. I'm, I mean, this is the best we can do given what's been happening, and hopefully in the future, things will be better. But gosh, it's so hard. Nawawala din yung mga kalokohan or mga talking in class. Yeah, passing parang, notes, oh, oh. all of these little fun things that we used to do. Yeah. Sad. No. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, my nephew, he was. Fifth grade when 2020 began, right? Mm-hmm. So when he was gonna enter school, dapat grade six siya. So dapat mm. siya yung parang hari na sila ng school, kasi sila mm. yung eldest gining gina of their elementary school. Yeah. And he wasn't able to experience that because mm. everything's online, which is so sad. Wala silang graduation. I find that so sad. I really find it so sad. And like the farewell mo sa mga friends mo, kasi syempre, you're going to high school, yeah. going to different schools, you're not gonna see them anymore. Um, and I know it's inevitable that we lose touch with friends, but gosh, that's such a big part I feel that was taken away from him. I, I think that's what I miss the most in this pandemic, is just talking to new people. I'm fairly introverted, pero parang na miss ko mag hang out or even just quick road trips, mga ganyan. Yeah, or being spontaneous. Mm-hmm, huh? mm-hmm. Or mga things, nights. Yeah, a lot of the things now, we have to be so calculated. Like, yeah. okay, if I, like, not that we go out at all, but like, even if we did, let's say, I have to leave to go to the grocery now. Okay, I'll, since I'm leaving today, I'll do na lang all my errands para one day lang ako lalabas. Tapos pag balik ko sa bahay, shower, uh-huh. disinfect, la 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 la. Everything's so calculated. Nawala yes. yung pagka, like, Spontaneous, nothing. Yeah. Pero matanong ko sa'yo, is it just because of the pandemic or is it just, be- it's also partly because we're older and we have a kid na? Um, I think 90% or maybe 80% because of the pandemic. Uh-huh. But there's al- always a 20% na because you have a kid na. I mean, you're no longer thinking about just yourself. We were talking about this like the other mm-hmm. night na, grabe no, parang two years ago, the only responsibility I had was myself. Like, when I went out with my friends and we split the bill, it was only divided by one. Like, I mean, I only paid for one yes. person. And then when we got married, okay, we're a pair. <laughs> like, yeah. two, two na tayo. Two. Tapos ngayon with Scott, kunyari, family dinner, let's just say. Tapos, divide by three na. Tapos kung mayaya, divide by four pa. Oh. Ang bilis, parang Tapos exponential. Tapos pa natin. The... <laughs> yeah, so, it's just like, yeah. you... you from an individual, so quickly we became a group. If you were to tell me, like three years ago when I was single, Slater, every month you'll be spending this much, I would say, what? Yeah, I know. I think when <laughs> we, I think when we calculated, <laughs> when we calculated when we were married, like ah, okay, estimate when we have a house, approximately <laughs> this is our monthly expenditure. Uh, and then, yeah, and then we like more or less we were there, and then when we got Scott, ibang level, like like times three. Whoa, times three, and I, I like people were telling me times three talaga when you have a kid. I'm like ah, di, I'm not sure, di siguro. Oh my god, times three talaga. <laughs> And you would think na Time sobrang speed. maliit na tao. Yeah, like how Pero much? Pero he's occupying like half of our house. Yeah. <laughs> and like my schedule revolves around him. Yes. And like, kailangan. I mean, di naman talaga kailangan to. But kay, siya, we put him, like his room is always air-conditioned all the time. All the time. Yeah. Pero tayo, air, electric fan. <laughs> Tapos Ikaw, siya, one, naliligo ah. like, Five times a day. Because after, after meals, you have to shower him. Tapos, he has fun pa in the tub. So, okay, bubble bath, whatever. Uh, oh, swimming pool pa. Pool, anytime he wants. Like, pero tayo, we're so mean to ourselves compared to how we treat Scott. <laughs> My gosh. That's like, funny. Ganyan no? naman talaga tayo eh. Like, we treat 
other people, the people that we love better than we treat ourselves. Napansin ko yun. Yeah, that's so true. Like, Remember, I was telling you mm. before, like, um, we have a set of plates. The mm. Corel ones, the daily ones. <laughs> that we use every single day. And yeah. we use it because it's so easy. We just throw it in the dishwasher. Yeah. Done. Mm. And I never, like, I only put out my good plates when you have guests. Like, when mm. your family comes over, when mm. my family comes over. And then I realized, teka, teka, teka. It's, it's been a full year. We haven't had guests yet. And our <laughs> plates are still here. And if I'm willing to put it out and wash dishes for strangers, not strangers, but like... For guests. Guests. <laughs> Why not for myself? Mm. Diba? We we tend to make all these cuts and sacrifices when it's us. Yeah. But other people, we bend for like, them. May nakalimutan ka. What? Uh, someone gave us a set sa wedding, yung ninong natin. Gave us like spoon and fork worth like 50,000. <laughs> It's <laughs> so, so expensive. And it's in a box. And yeah, so let's put it out. Let's use it. A wooden box. And it's all uh, gold. Like, and you know, like, ever. Uso pa yung cutlery ngayon <laughs> online na gold. But it's like, you know, after several washes, it becomes silver because Uh-oh. it's just like fake gold. But this one is like gold, gold. Uh, yung, yung, alam mong, it's, it's built into, it's not like gold plating. It's built into the And the then thing. we just put it in a box and put it above our shelf Uh-oh. because we're scared na masisira siya. <laughs> but what's the point of having it if it get if you're scared to use it? More, more on the question of What's the point of having really expensive? Kutsama? We didn't buy it. It was given to us, love. Ano ba? Wala, walang point. Wala talaga. Wala iba ba si Lasa? But I get the point of pag mabigat siya. Yeah, I mean, it's if like, it's substantial. Oo, na hindi siya nagbe-bend. Yeah, that that I get. But hindi naman like, to the level of super expensive cutlery. Yeah, but it's also fun. Like now I'm kind of into tablescaping. Well, tablescaping. I, yeah, okay. like a placemat has to match the plate, has to match the spoon and fork, hmm. you know, all of these things. Anong, anong tawag sa, sa class niyan? Ano? Skipping class. Oh my gosh, love. What? You know what? You're so funny. When you make a joke, you always, there's always a slater look. Like, Laugh, laugh, laugh. Like, mm. where is she gonna laugh? <laughs> is my joke funny or not? No, it's not. Like, I, I'm waiting for your reaction because you always react like that. Yeah, that, but that you have a face. You have mm. a face. Like, oh, it's your reaction. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Eh. Eh. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed too that the older people, the, like my dad or mga friends that are a little bit older, Mas konti na lang yung friends nila. They tend to stick to one group. Yeah. Like, I mean, ito I na yung barkada ko. Um, when we were younger, we have sev- several groups. So many barkadas. Yes. And the more people in your barkada, the cooler you are. Oh, like even when I was in Manila, uh, I hung out with so many people. Wala akong, um, meron akong close group of friends, pero randomly when someone invites us it's normal yeah it's normal let's, okay let's go out but yeah I um, noticed that also in Manila I mean that's something nice about the millennial culture na mm. parang I don't know kalad or like they're more Hindi. welcoming they're more welcoming I would say or like not as clickish uh, dito sa Cebu like if a random person who I know parang bigla na lang siya magta-text na Slater labas tayo parang huh? What's your agenda? <laughs> what do you want from me? In, in our circle, we can't generalize. <laughs> but yeah, that's true. Even me, like, yeah, if a person like, that belongs to another siya. barcada, oh. like, suddenly texts me, like, hey, let's have coffee. Why? What do you want from me? Uh, what or, if it's your, my, or when we were in Manila, wala, normal lang. Okay, let's go. Oh, bro, alis tayo. Oh, sige, game. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder if it's that's a Cebu Manila thing or that's just an us thing. Or maybe it's just getting older thing. When we were younger, possibly like, uh, I would actually, yeah, I would, when it's like weekend and parang wala akong magawa sa bahay and I'm bored, I would text people like, bro, mula, uh, mula ka mo or are you going out? Si Ayo. Ah, oh, si Ayo. <laughs> yeah. Parang, oh, I have par- a party. Ta- sa- sama tayo. Yeah. It's but ngayon it's parang, aging. That's it's the age. <laughs> it's if it's you're like thirty plus and then bigla, bigla ka mag text sa random acquaintances mo. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little desperate, no? Or could or, be taken the wrong way. It's a culture thing that because hindi na tayo maalis, nagiging awkward na siya. If you're in a circle where 
Um, Even if you're 30, 40, but you you all still go out and party, yes. then it's normal. Yeah, um, I think it's a analyze. yeah, I think it's a social <laughs> social thing. Yeah, but I remember in Manila, like, even if it's just someone uh, I worked with once, parang he invites me. Derecho, okay, go game. Yeah, I mean that's how I became friends with the blogger besties. It's just like, oh hey, like wanna hang out? Okay. And Is it because parang my certain level of trust na because the people we hung out with is my reputation is ila. or parang you kind of know them because they're artista or they're slightly famous I really honestly I, I can't answer that question like for example know. if someone like you met in in one of the office meetings lang like sabihin natin hindi ka wala ka sa internet world or hindi ka artista tapos bigla ka lang bigla lang siya magte-text sa'yo na Oh, let's go out. You know what? If we kind of hit it off in the meeting, like, oh, I like this girl. She's like, uh, yeah, then it's fine. Mm. But if she, if it's like we never even spoke, like, hi, hello, and then she texts me, like, that's creepy. What do you want from me? But if it's a guy. But if it's a guy, like, ah, oh, what's your intentions? Ayo, like, if, I, if I'm if i seen with you, or not if I'm seen with you, if I say yes to you, baka you'll think I like you, so wag na lang. Mm. Baka, what if ako yun? Kung ikaw yun, syempre, mm. oo, kasi, oh, crush, cute eh. Crush mo ako eh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's all about, like, I think really getting older, you tend to have a tight group of friends. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I want to go back because I remember, like, when that happened, when you actually asked me out before. Okay. <laughs> anong, 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 I was very, like, w- like, should I go out with this guy? Like, what will... Huh? Like, there was a there was a back and forth in my brain. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because you were afraid of me? Not afraid of you, but like, mm, should I go out with him or not? Like, obviously, it's not like a friendly thing, you know? If it's a guy that's asking friendly you... Friendly lang naman No, we weren't close at all. We're just like random acquaintances. Okay. And then, like, diba? I mean, if it's, a, if it's someone of the opposite sex that asks you out na kayong dalawa lang is it a mm. date or is it like just friends hanging out that's what i was going to ask you if a guy asks a girl out like randomly anong iniisip ng girl agad is it like oh she's attracted to me he's attracted to me ako if it's a totally random guy mm. that probably spoke to me once twice mm. there's nothing like he's not asking me to have coffee with him because we want to discuss something yeah. that I know of. Mm. Then, magdududa na ako. What's duda in Tagalog? Yeah, yun. Duda? Mm. Yeah. Then I'll be duda. Duda day. <laughs> duda, duda day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kasi ganito, if I ask a girl out and she says yes, I assume ko, sa isip ko, oh, siya, she likes me too. Parang ganyan. Yeah, exactly. So if a guy asks me out for, and it's a random dude, mm. Like, let's say you, way back when. Now, we don't have anything to talk about. Why are you asking me out? Mm. Obviously, there's a, the reason behind that is because he date siya. Like, there's a liking thing. It's not for friends. It's not friendship. Pero pag, let's say, for example, I ask you out, tapos I have, like, a legit, I know, legit explanation. Oh, let's hang out. Coffee tayo. Um, let's talk about this certain thing. Let's talk about the... Like, oh, help me fix my laptop or whatever. Help, like, I need... Help me with my business or whatever, something random. Oh, oh or like, pigla lang siya mag. Oh, sabihin na, it's sabihin fine. Ko, I like, wouldn't think it's anything. Chris, let's go out. I'll help you with your business. No, that's weird. I'll help you. That's so weird. Oh, you would, like, let's say, for example, sinabihan mo ko that you have a problem with your business. But, well, but first of all, why would I tell you I have a problem if you're just a random guy? That mm. conversation wouldn't even happen. Mm. Right? Sige. So if there's a back and forth already, mm. then diba, parang there's something. Okay, what would be the best way to approach a girl if my crush ka sa girl? I don't know. That's like, ikaw, ikaw, like guy, from, from your perspective of the people that have approached you, what worked and what didn't? Um, I think if you like the guy, it doesn't really matter what the approach is. If you like the guy already. Mm, okay. But if you don't like the guy, no matter how suave he is, no matter how like, Nice, the flowers he gives you or whatever. Mm. Did, ayaw, ayaw mo talaga. No talaga. For me. Like, ma awkward really? lang ako. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because you say na it's either you like the guy or not. Because, but what made you like 
the guy or not in the first place. Siyempre, you have already a feeling. Like, when you see someone, mm-hmm. you kind of know a little bit about that person. La la la. Like, if it's a complete stranger, mm. I would freak out, most probably. Okay. Yeah, because, like, uh, why would I go out to the complete stranger? That's not in my social book. You know what I mean? It's not, my parents told me, stranger danger, stranger danger. But <laughs> yeah, not an attractive, the guy approached you, like, like straightforward, yeah. na, hey, like, parang... Mm, I think that's not very common in our like in our society mm. here in the Philippines. Though, if it happened to me, let's say abroad, mm. um, because I'm Filipina, I would freak out and probably not show up, even though I find him attractive. But I feel like if I was raised in a different place and like I wasn't so walls up, probably entertain. I think uh, what you would do if you like the guy, pero hindi ka sure. Bring a friend. Yes, that's what girls do all the time. Yeah. It's always bring a friend. Yeah. Yeah. Safety net. Yeah, I remember the very first date we we went to, you brought your best friend. Yeah. So, ang ginawa ko, nagdala din ako ng best friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bring a friend. Uh-oh. So she can also, kasi sometimes, pag gusto mo yung tao, you have, ano, you're blind. Mm, you, everything's so, tinted, everything's colored. So you need somebody there who loves you and will look out for you who doesn't have that love love glasses. So para ma-evaluate ka rin, rin ako ng, girlfriend, ng best friend mo. Yeah. Like, mm, what do you think about this guy? You think he's good for me? Or you think I'm just like infatuated right now? Mm. Yeah. Ako dinala ko yung best friend ko, I think because, I'm just guessing, uh, I wanted to make sure that masaya. Oh, you were think, like yeah. scared to be boring or awkward. Hindi naman. It's more of to make it casual, less serious. Like, right. Very, I, I very like your you, personality. But, um, yeah, we're still getting to know each other. So, ayoko namang magiging super intense agad yung ano. Right. Yung nangyayari. Right. And it's fun because we already kind of knew each other mm. already. Like, mm. Jake, I already knew Jake. Like we yes. party together already, so like it's fun. Like it's just fun. It's chill. Mm. It's a nice way to kind of break the ice. Ah, so bring your best friends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say like what turns a lot of girls off, and I'm not speaking for everyone, just okay. all, uh, most of the girls that I know, is if gustong gusto nila yung lalaki pero sobrang torpe. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because ah, uh, make the first move already, like. So annoying. Ganon. Ganon yung, yung feeling ng girl. Yeah, but there's an opposite end to that then. Pag nasyadong confident or feeling guapo. You don't have to be feeling guapo or confident. You just have to say, like, not be uh, on the wall. You know, just not be torpe. Just be normal. Mm. A lot of guys, ba? It's easy to say. A lot of guys are extreme, no? No. It's like, easy for girls to say that guys should, like, just be normal. Just be yourself. Just be confident. No, iba, iba kasi yung, yung galaw ng lalaki pag gusto niya yung girl. Or even, like, there's psychologically something that happens in the guy's mind pag there's an attractive girl right in front of you. Parang, okay. nag, and I think this is scientifically proven, parang nagda-drop yung IQ points mo. <laughs> no. I think so. Like, like, imagine yung mga EDSA, you're driving. And then may malaking billboard dyan of a really attractive girl na nakabikini. I'm sure the EDSA place will have a lot of accidents in that area. Mm. So may ganyang factor. That's funny because why does that only... Yung moves mo. Why does that only happen for guys but it doesn't happen for girls? I don't know. Like honestly, let's say who's a, who's a hot celebrity? A guy like known to the public. Daniel Matsunaga. Okay, let's say Daniel Matsunaga has this billboard on Edsa. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Iba, Bakit parang, iba, oh, oh. okay, my billboard cha. Yeah, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's attractive. But I think but, also because there's a lot of pressure for guys because the guys have to be the one to approach, mga ganyan, like, what do I say? Okay, uh, like... In our culture, ganito, guys, ganito, like, approach. I, I remember, like, like, when I was trying to talk to people or try to talk to girls, like, Maisip ko, okay, what do I say? Oh, I'll just say, hi, uh, I'm Slater, what's your name? Ganyan. And then after, what do I say? And then after, what do I say? But paano pag maubusan ako ng ano? Paano pag hindi siya nag sumasagot? Ganyan yung, ano. That's what you were thinking. But we used to like, stay up all night. 
talking on the phone when you were still courting me. So did you think that too then? No, but I was, I'm saying this is when I was in my torpe days, ah. when I had like very little experience with dating. Because I remember when you were courting me, parang you were confident naman. Oh, GGSS oh. ka nga. Hindi nga GGSS. Honest. <laughs> yeah, I remember. That was, uh, to be honest, it kind of like, it was it wasn't a good thing for me that mm. there was yeah you're right there's a too confident factor because meansan it makes the girl think also like why is he too confident like is he playing me like because mm. diba when you're dating someone kailangan vulnerable kayo dalawa mm. bakit ako lang ganun yung feeling ko before mm. that's why i didn't trust you yeah i think like yeah i get it i get it like parang I'm sure hindi ka perfect. Anong anong imperfections mo hindi hindi mo pinapakita? It's Parang not yun. it's not about perfect or not. It's just like why are you so smug? You know what I mean? Like why are you why are you handling all the situations so well? Because mm. when we started dating, it wasn't a perfect situation, mm. which we won't get into, but why am I the only one uncomfortable with this? Like why are you so chill? Like not not even chill, but why are you like there was a smugness about you, you know? Smugness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> just you were just confident. Mm. It's so for you. It, so it it was kind of like it made me question. Mm. Um, I don't know how to put it, but it made me question like, what? Wait, am I missing something? Like like maybe he's so confident because he's not taking me seriously. Mm. Okay. So parang at any time. He can just drop me. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's why I also had that mindset now. Okay, this isn't... Okay, date, date lang. Uh, yeah. Ooh, this is like therapy for the both of us. I just, <laughs> I just realized this now that I'm looking back. Yeah, honestly. Therapy, we need therapy. No, 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 no. I just, it's fun. Like, Maybe there are demons that are going to be Yeah, I remember that. Hey, cool. I unearthed something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's it comes with age. I think so too. And I think I was like when I was in Cebu, iba kasi yung culture ng Cebu. Mas we we tend to be more mahiyain and then yeah. we kasi like everybody knows everybody else. You you tend in to in our circle, yes. guard your movements or the way you act. We're or, scared that oh we'll be seen by this person oh, here, what will they think? Or even if you sleep around and um, everybody will know. Right. For sure, everybody will know. Right. Like, even if you're a girl or a guy. Right. Like, oh, don't go you, with that. But in Manila, parang, I tended to go out more. And I hung out with a lot of people who were super confident. And like, parang it rubbed off on me, siguro. Aww, okay. Like, I hung out with mga artistas and they, they went out and... Like, this is how they treated girls. So, parang it's not about how they treated girls because there are some that treated girls badly or poorly, or some na okay. Pero, parang you get used to the scene of always being around beautiful women because mm. you're artista number one. Uh, number two, because you're artista, girls tend to, to want to be with you. Want to be with you, so you don't have that that feeling of oh, is she gonna like me or not. So at the time, feel na feel mo na that I liked you. Hindi siya feel na feel. I knew that you liked me because we went out together. Yung right, parang, right. ganyan lang. Like parang, okay, yeah, she, ganito kasi iniisip ko. Like, if I invite you out, like, even if nothing happens, no kissing, no whatever, just because you said yes, it means that the door is at least open. Dude, I remember. Remember in Manila? What? <laughs> I told you. Um, no, na lang, I won't go out. Did you remember? Yeah. He said the, yes. And then last night, I'm like, no, na lang, I won't go. Na lang. <laughs> and you forced me. I remember. Oh, forcibly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> forcibly. What's forcibly? <laughs> you really forced me. Like, <laughs> no, you have to go out with me because blah, 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 blah. I'm like, fine, oh God. But I really told you like, siguro mga five times, like, di lagi ko, di lagi na ko. Kasi sa isip ko, it's like, ah, uh, she's just like, parang, girls tend to do this. What, pakipot? But I really wasn't no, it, pakipot. No, it wasn't pakipot. It's more of like having second, second thoughts. Second thoughts, exactly. Uh, yeah, so I was like, she likes me, but she's having second thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> so if I forced her enough. I really remember this. Like, 
Uh, should ba- I go out with him? Stress ka na lang. I don't even remember this. Dude, I remember it like now because we're talking about it. Like, <laughs> I remember it. Oh, should I go out with him? I remember that good. <laughs> I want na lang, oy, sus. Why am I like, gubot gubot rin sa akong life? I <laughs> Oh, diba? So funny. Diba? Aren't you glad you went yeah, out? Yeah, I know, on... right? Looking yeah. back. Oh Aren't gosh. you glad I forced you? So guys, take risks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but really, I'm, I'm trying to talk to I mean, guys or girls that are um, having a hard time, like, getting... Ang, ang pangit kasi ng suggestion, like, dati. Whenever I was like, oh, I can't talk to girls. Oh, just be confident. Para sa akin, sobrang... Pangit na suggestion yun. Yeah. Like, just be yourself. Yeah, I am myself. Like, there's and, no practical suggestion. Yeah, being myself is being scared. Right. <laughs> Ganyan. Right. So, I feel like, tama. It, it comes with age. It comes with experience. I think it's also a lot to do with fear of rejection for mm. the guy. Because mm. if a girl says no and you really like the girl and you think, mm. like, dead end. Mm. But if you kind of take it a little bit lightly. Yes. You know, like, okay, if she doesn't like me, I'll try again. Instead of, it's a dead end. Yeah. You know, like sometimes, like if the girl says no, like if you ask me, what do you got me? And I said, ah, uh, no lang. Instead of like, okay, I'll never talk to her again. I'm so shy. Like, oh my God, I just, napauwawan ko. Mm. Like, I'm shy, whatever. I'm ashamed. You can also think of it like, Ah, ito naman, she won't go out with me. Next ah, time, go out with yeah. me, ha? Like, you know, you can yeah. make it into a joke. And then you can maybe even become friends first. And then maybe after a while, she'll agree to go out with you. Diba? Yes. And I also feel like it's something to do with like an abundance mentality. Mm-hmm. Like, if you feel like this one person is your soulmate and there's nobody else for you and That's there's so, nobody else will love you pressure naman on. yeah so the girl will get really really scared right and but if you can uh treat it uh, a little bit nonchalant like like how yeah <laughs> you i know parang sa akin kasi <laughs> they're forcing me to go out the, <laughs> no I parang sa akin kasi like even when i was forcing you it was like a sort of in a joking way i siguro um, it it wasn't heavy. It wasn't heavy like I'm gonna kill you. Don't go out with me. It wasn't like that. Uh-uh. Yeah. So, parang ang sa akin, like what I really learned is, okay, if this girl doesn't like me, there are other girls that will like. Me. <gasps> I remember what you did. You guilt tripped me. <laughs> you guilt tripped what me. Did I do? You said like I came to Manila because you said you'll go out with oh, me. Oh yeah, because I ca- I came from a surf trip. Tapos, we had an agreement to go out uh, that night or siguro. So, I drove all the way back to Manila. No, 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 no. I remember What this. I remember is, what I remember is, we kind of like, oh, like, I'll be in Manila in this day. And then you said, ah, me too. You said something like that. Okay, if we're, if we're there at the same time, let's meet up. Mm. It was like that. Hindi mo talaga mag-get over. No, it's just funny because it's all coming back to me now. And then I came from a trip also, and I just landed in Manila. Mm. And then I was tired. I was iffy pa about you. I'm like, ah, wag na lang. Mm. And then you forced me. Mm. So guilt tripping works. <laughs> <laughs> guilt tripping doesn't work all the yeah. time. Yeah, no, don't do it, honestly. Because <laughs> I was, I was kind of like, oh, sumuka, I just get get this over with like that. Yeah. I'm just Buta talking from. charming ka sa, sa date natin, love. Yeah. Nabawi mo. I know. I'm, I'm always charming. <laughs> Dude, I remember, okay, this is like, sorry, you can't get your point, but it's fun. I remember I was so hungry because mm. I just came from a flight mm. that was like five hours long mm. and then it was super late. I was so hungry. And then when we were dating, when mm. we, were, we were dating, when we were having dinner, gutom na gutom ka. I couldn't eat. I ordered, I remember I ordered, but I couldn't eat. That's because so of? Nerves. Why were you nervous? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. But I really remember that I was so hungry. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my Because maybe because me. you met your match. No, I don't know. <laughs> but I just remember no more like, no, what? Like, like why, why is my gutom? Like, why is my hunger gone all of a sudden? And mm. then I remember. Kasi you, busug ka sa pagmamahal. <laughs> Then I remember you were so chancing also, uh, which you admitted after. Yeah. 
I remember. Mm. So that's another technique, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it works, huh? Because you're kuan ba Because I liked you. Then being chancing is cute. It's, it makes the girl killing. Like, ooh. <laughs> but if you don't, if the girl doesn't like you, don't. <laughs> she might slap you. <laughs> I think these are like you uh, small weird tips. Like, <laughs> I know. Sorry, like, I got no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just like these small like be chancing or not. It really depends on if the girl likes you or not. Yeah. So if the girl likes you, you can get away with a lot of things. Yeah. Just ganito, pogi being pogi doesn't really matter, but it gives you a lot of leeway. Y- yes, room for error. Para <laughs> yeah. natin ganyan. I remember one of the first few times I hung out with artistas, I was brought by a common friend and I'm like, oh my gosh, all pretty girls, all pretty guys, what am I doing here? I don't fit in. And so I had a miserable night because mm. I just kept overthinking that I didn't belong. Yes. But then on a separate occasion, um, we were already pretty like tipsy, la la la. I was already fun. Tipsy. Yeah, no, I was already having fun. And then my friend took me to like meet all of her artista friends. And parang I had so much fun because I wasn't thinking about it. I was oh, just oh. thinking about myself having fun and I didn't care about the people around me or think they're better than me or, you know, I wasn't so conscious about everything. It was just about me having fun. And I think when you kind of get out of your head, mm. right, it, it becomes a lot easier. Pero ito, Meron ding girls or guys sa club na pumupunta sa club tapos alam mong desperate sila to find someone. Nakikita yeah. mo talaga. Yeah. What about them? Like parang they become infinitely less attractive. Yeah, we call them cockroaches. <laughs> okay. I say cockroach because they're always like in the sides prying their next target and then like flying EPs they'll arrive. <laughs> they'll arrive. They'll pounce on their target and then like usually the target is like ah! That's why they're aimies. <laughs> <laughs> meron, meron pa ganun. Meron din, meron din silang tinatawag na langaw eh, sa club. Yung uh, nagahang around lang for free for drinks. For free drinks. Freeloader. Yes. <laughs> Dude, you guys should watch the YouTube video version of this podcast because this is their movement <laughs> in the club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just about being Having comfortable fun. in your own skin. Again, it's easy to say, hard to do. Right, right. Mm. But honestly, all in good fun. And even looking back, like you've had your fair share of torpe moments. Mm. You, I've had my fair share of like, oh my God, what was I thinking moments. And looking back, it's just part of life. It doesn't define me. Mm. I don't even, we don't even remember mm. how we dated. You know what I mean? Yeah. So don't... At the, in the moment, parang binibigyan natin masyado ng... Importance. Big, oh, sobrang bigat. Yeah, so don't beat yourself up about about it. Yeah, it's part of life. It's, it's fun. It's beautiful. And even if you're like super ashamed of what you just did right now, like fast forward, you won't. You'll forget. You'll laugh it. about it. Yeah, you'll yeah. forget it. And if you laugh about it now, mm. you, if you're open about it, you laugh about it to your friends. Like, oh my god, bro, I can't believe I did this. Ha ha. Then it becomes less awkward to talk about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It becomes funny. It becomes. Hindi ka. It's not shameful anymore. Hmm. Mm. Right. Um, it, but sa akin lang, ito yung masasabi ko, like moving forward with Scott. Like, pwede ko, I I would rather him try dating a, a few women. Hindi lang yung isa lang. Tapos, ito na talaga gustong gusto ko. How would you be able to know? That, uh, you you also can't say because I have a lot of friends that. Oh yeah, timing. Th- those are the f- very few lucky ones mm. who who found someone on the first try. I think with Scott, let's not pressure him so much. Kailangan yung ide-date mo. Kailangan ganito. Kailangan ganyan. <laughs> Sabihin ko, break up with your first girlfriend. Kailangan you you date ten people. <laughs> <laughs> like no pressure. Let him do what he wants. Let him experience life. In whichever way life approaches him. Yeah, tama, tama. That's yeah. why I need you in my life, love. I know. Yeah. I'm your better half. Oh. <laughs> so aren't you happy we dated? I know. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy na experience ko ang the Slater Young moves. Oh, I knew what was the best for you. <laughs> so, na lang natin Pressure, ganyan. guilt trip. <laughs> oh, like, sa isip ko kasi. That's why super confident ko because I'm doing this for you. <laughs> oh, diba? Yun yung confidence. <laughs> Overconfident din, guys, ha? Careful lang. May ganun din. 
<laughs> and with that, good night, guys. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good morning, day. And good morning. <laughs>